So we're here with uh, Northeastern senior forward Veronica Napoli of women's soccer, um, and we're going to talk about um, her recent uh, feat of becoming number one all time in Northeastern history and uh, goals and points. So, uh, Veronica, uh, how did it feel to uh, be um, the all time record, Chris and Colby's record? Um, it feels very <laughs> great, I guess. I didn't really know at the time, I mean, besides my teammates, you know, telling me on the field, you're gonna break the record tonight, you're gonna break it, but in the back of my mind, it's just, I just, I don't know. I mean, it's important, but at the same time, I just, I love the game, and that's what I'm there to do. So, um, so there really was no point during the season where it, you know, it kind of hung in the back of your head, you know, I'm actually pretty close, and I'm probably gonna. I mean, there was a little bit of pressure, like, are you gonna do it, is she gonna do it, but, at the same time, I mean, I'm so relieved that it's done and over with now, so now I can just focus on the game, but um, not going into the games, I would be like, oh, I have to score today to break the record, you know, it's just like, I hope as a team together we can win, and that's the most important thing. Okay. So what kind of, th what kind of things were your teammates saying before the Rhode Island game, just like, they were kind of like, hyping you up, maybe? <laughs> Definitely, I mean, Kirby especially, I mean, she's been here with me since my freshman year, and every game she gives me the lucky slap so um, she's like you're gonna tie it tonight and then I scored and she was going crazy and everybody else and then she's like I can feel it you're gonna do it and I mean I guess the extra hype does help but I'm glad that it's over with yeah. but we did it as a team so yeah. it's not just one individual person. Okay. Um, and what was your first I guess thought right the moment right after you scored your first goal? Was it, a, was it that feeling of relief or was it? It was more like, yes, we're up a goal. Like, yeah. we're, we're winning the game right now. Yeah. It wasn't, I mean, URI has just been very, um, they've always been sort of rival with us ever since last year, but I was just more happy that we were winning the game and that, you know, ending the half that we were up a goal. <laughs> and how have Northeastern's coaches, um, you know, both Ed Mads and Tracy, um, helped you? Ed was so sweet. He texted me after the game. He was like, uh, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I mean, he was the one that originally got me to the school and I played two years with him. And he's taught me a lot of great things. And I mean, Tracy especially and Yuba and Ashley and Sarah. I mean, everybody here has just helped me so much. I've improved since my freshman year. I'm not even the same type of player. So, I mean, every day they look for me to get better and I do. And uh, how have your teammates so, um, played into, I guess? They've just been the most supportive. I just, I don't know, I almost want to cry, but like, I, I love them. They're my family, and I just can't even imagine having a different team. I mean, like I said, it's not just one person that did it. I couldn't have done it without anybody. I mean, there's 11 players on the field. There's, everybody has to touch the ball before it goes to the goal. And uh, how do you want to, do you want to um, continue to improve as you go through the rest of your senior year? I mean, every practice is so important from this point on. Um, I mean, I have 11 games left, I think, for my whole career to play for Northeastern. So just, it's kind of, you don't really know what it's like until you're a senior, but it just makes you want to work so much harder every day anything that you can possibly do.